<laughs> Nimbus, the space gate to Dark World is charged up and now open. Welcome back, Twitch X YouTube. It's your boy KDZ bringing you guys another more for watching. Again, guys, the reason why we do these videos is because I have a huge passion for trading card games. I love talking about trading card games and want to continue to build a community that has the same love and passion for admiring all those gorgeous lore windows as I do. And with that, let's get into it. Uh, yeah, we left off. Uh, we 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 weren't able to get the space gate charged up. Uh, for Marco Watch yesterday, it was wild. It was wild, but um, we're charged up today. We left off the last one we saw a couple of days ago. We was talking about the Millennium Pack. We was on our trip down memory lane, twenty sixteen, and holding arms and holding legs came up when we was talking about my being held for show for show. But. Like always, <laughs> we got uh, we got um. Dang, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Millennium pack, OTS tournament pack one. We looked at this last time. We saw Zombie Warrior and them foods way up in value. Trap hole spikes out of OTS tournament pack twenty one. Oh, that was in the Millennium Pack as well. Yo, the Millennium Pack was nice as shit, bro. Millennium Pack was nice. Um, But let's go ahead and continue our trip. Before we do, though, let's look at some current um, meta stuff. Of course, like always, we've got our smorgasbord of tabs open up here. Let's see if we got anything up. The 2019? I think I had a reason to leave that up. I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Uh, Cosmo Boys here. Yeah, the Cosmo Boys are supers. Those go Dark Side Dimension, Secret Edition, Brilliant Fusion, Ultimate Rare, Twin Twisters, all printings. Regeki is fire. Uh, what we got right here? What's this? Dark Lucius. We can we can commandeer this um this tab. We don't need Dark Lucius. I've already I actually already own this card. Let's go Yu-Gi-Oh, Phantom Nightmare, Amazing Millennium, Fire King. Let's, let's start with Fire King. We're going to go down all some meta stuff because it's been a while. So the structure decks then fell down to 80 from, um, they were closer to like 90. So uh, that's decent. That's decent. <laughs> um, I'm not really going to look at anything else in there, though. Drawing Lockbird is three bucks. Oh, Infinite Permanence is in there as well. As a common. <laughs> okay. Uh, those two cards are three dollars, and then everything else is cents on the dollar. Uh, the pot collection. Let's let's look at this. Uh, the pot collection. It was like going pre sale for like three hundred thirty or something like that. So you got sixteen listings as well as two hundred nine. Mark price two fifteen now. That's not bad. I think you're guaranteed a, a single copy of each one of these. So it's like seventy five, a hundred, a hundred and twenty ish. Uh, duality is at 50 now for some reason. Okay, so 170 ish. So, I mean, if I guess if you sold every card that you got in here, you would make your money back and you would just have the little collectibles to keep. Interesting, interesting. Um, okay, let's let's get off of the pot collection. Let's go Valiant Smashers. Anything happening back here? Uh, Centurion, Premier, and Judea, they're down from 100 to 88, so they're cheap as, as they've ever been. How? What, what are Valiant Smashers booster boxes looking like? 52.69. So the estimated best price for a collector's rate in here, if you're getting one in every 72 packs, one in every three boxes, 160 bucks. So Premier and Judea are almost two for one. They're at about 180 to grab two. Same thing for stand up Terry on the, the field spell. Archer Christie is way down 48 listings is all $66. He's primed, but I mean, at the rate that he's fallen, he could fall like closer to 50, which is crazy to think about. Then Dorian Brumer and Bloom My Oath ultra rares they're still around 30 bucks i'm pretty sure the estimated best price for an ultra rare is still around 32 dollars in this set so that's part of course I'm pretty steady this set has been relatively steady the booster boxes have uh steadily went down but for the most part a lot of the stuff has been uh relatively steady dark honest collector's rare 
39 listings is low 779 mark price 859 the estimated base price is 160. you can get like what's eight bucks yikes man that's like 10 of them for the price of one for the price of what it will cost to pull one you can get 10 dark honest collector's rares that's incredible <laughs> that's perfect so we'll say during the sale games <laughs> incredible that's incredible value <sighs> what else we got in here uh then the other ultra rares are actually a whole in good value like valmanica ultra rare six bucks memento bone party six bucks valmanica celtia four bucks <sighs> then they could have gave colossal fighter a, a collector's right here that's tough or baguska or foolish burial that's tough they might as well not even put them in here because those cards didn't even need reprints they might as well not even put them in here uh 25th anniversary rare collection you guys already know how this set be freaking hitting let's go qcsrs <sighs> anything then poof and disappeared today in the past two days, we ain't looked at it. The bureau's up over 50. Okay. Ghost Bell's still holding over 42. Okay. Fall on the Albaz, 20 listings as low as 24.99, market price 18.74. Celine, nine listings as low as 22.50, market price 20.03. Dengirsu, 35 listings as low as 17.74. I'll probably go back and look into the Lava Golems. Pot of Desires is legit $20. Dimension Shifter is a legit $20. We talked about the estimated base price of QCSRs going up um that's like the the qcsrs you got for two for one when the estimated base price was 32 you could get two for one and when they were 16 have thus appreciated and then some have just spiked up from five to ten dollars all the way into the twenty dollar price range like Celine and digirsu artifact lands here like these were between five and ten dollars pre-preparation of rights The craziest set we've ever had. Rhoda's appreciated to 18. Part of extravagance, then appreciated to 19. You could have got three for one um, back when um, Part of Extravagance and Part of Desires on the set first dropped. Those were around 10, 12 bucks. I really wanted to get those. I didn't grab them. I'm not kicking myself too much, though, because I, I bought cards like uh, Dengirsu and Celine and Deco Tarka Hitso, which is now 30 listings as well as 14.49. Uh, Mud Dragon of the Swamp, I bought that as well. 13 listings as well as 18. I definitely didn't buy it for that. I bought, I bought it for like seven. I bought Ancient Fairy Dragon for like seven. 16 listings as well as 15.08. I bought Brolo Savage Dragon for 10. 10 listings as well as 15. I bought Herald of Arclight for seven. 13 listings as 10. Mark Price 12, 14. <sighs> These, everything is being hyper targeted. Like I said, what what is going to disappear today? And like people are done waiting. They waited two months. They're done waiting. They're going for their QCSRs of choice. And these things are dropping like flies. They're disappearing left and right. I was contemplating cashing in on some of the profits I didn't gain. But now looking at it, I'm like at the volatility that I'm seeing right here. I feel like a lot of this shit is going to go even further beyond like what we're looking at right now like the gear suit didn't hit 17 i'm seeing the gear suit hit on like 30 40 bucks i'm seeing deco talker he's so hitting like 30 40 bucks like legit i fear a storm is coming guys small world is ridiculously priced right now that card is easily going to hit 20 30 bucks when it sees meta play 
Max Rarity, give me Ultra Sparkly. <laughs> Chaos Space is limited to one. Nine listings as well as 950 market price 719. That's exactly why I bought a playset and not just one. Fossil Diggers for Dino players. Those people is out here like hero players. Downer is for Zeus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Artemis the Magistus Moon Maiden is a waifu. Blue eyes, a bitch dragon is a blue eyes. <sighs> Cyber Angel Benton is used in every ritual deck. Like, Black Wings among the Poison is going to be used in every Black Wing deck. Nightmare Unicorn, I feel like that is hella undervalued as well. Before we spend too much time on this. And like always, guys, we're doing these market watches outside of live with the live shooting live with you guys. So, you know, you're going to hear the birds and the bees, the wind blowing in the background, you know, and your occasional helicopter flying over. But it's hella brisk. I mean, it's Friday, December 29th, 644 p.m. Central Standard, um, 1844 military. And it's like motherfucking 38 degrees out this bitch. Like, it is. I can feel it in the air. Benny Siegel. For real, for real, though. We're taking all the energy from the space gate for this one. Let's jump into Age of Overboard now. <laughs> Looking at these QCSRs. Typhoon miraculously hasn't appreciated, even though I think, yes, the booster box. <coughs> okay, guys. A QCSR is one in every four booster boxes. So now the estimated base price for a QCSR is $400. SP Little Knight is still deal over the estimated base price banking you money wanted secret sinful spoils is about a two for one 16 listings as well as 220 typhoon 17 listings as well as 170 mark price 18361 you're getting two for one and still having a little bit of money left over for the price of what it would cost to pull one right now like typhoon especially for the use that is having in the meta is hella undervalued are yes whoa jump into 120 even at 120, you can get a playset for the price of what it will cost to pull one. Gloria Horace is right at 400 for his playset. Yeah, Bell Star the Black Queen, she's a little over 400 for her playset. Wow, this set really has two $100 secret rares in it. King Sarcophagus is fluctuating like crazy. Started at 60, went up to 150, fell back down to 70. Now it's at 90 with nine listings. MCD Gory of Horse is at 62. This was holding 35 strongly. Man, this set is just, this is a banger of a set. This literally is. I definitely still wouldn't buy booster boxes to open. I would buy them to keep sealed. But This has some heavy hitters, and it's, it's crazy to think that when the Mega 10 drops, these cards are not even going to be worth nowhere near this much. The QCSR still will. SP Little Knight QCSR is not going to drop at all. SP Little Knight QCSR, the only way that's going to drop is if it gets hit on the ban list, which is more than likely it's going to get hit to one. But And it's probably going to drop, what, to $300? Because people are going to be selling their, their excess ones because people have a lot of two ofs. You know what I'm saying? So to drop what's at three hundred dollars, people fire selling because you only need one. But then that's it. It's not dropping any lower. The only way it's gonna drop lower than three hundred is if it gets banned. We'll see what we got here. Yeah, that's the only way I can see that dropping lower than three hundred is if it gets banned, but. When we get the Mega 10, for sure, SP Little Knight Secret Rare is not going to be 113. It's going to be way cheaper than that. So it's one that Secret of Sinful Spoils. Konami is going to be waiting to cash in and, and hit our wallets hard with reprints for those. They know people are going to be waiting to play those because people ain't going to be wanting to pay $300 for a play set of wanted Secret of Sinful Spoils for the Secret Rare. Especially when you could turn around and be like, okay, for $300, I could get 10 Visa Samsura QCR, QCSRs. Like, what? 
like and it's like you see one qcsr for every eight secrets so i mean if that is not artificial value there i don't know what it is <sighs> Dark Hole Dragon, 37 listings as well as $20, market price $23.67. The estimated base price for a QCSR in this set is $400. And Dark Hole Dragon is $20. Diamatuff is $25. Dang, Arius Labyrinth Butler didn't hit $24.89 as a secret? As the collector from nowhere would say, magnificent. Oh, look at TG Rocky Salamander trying to rebound. 18 listings as well as $16.79, market price $12.56. This was a $7 QCSR. Now it's trying its darndest to pull itself out of the hole that it was dug into. Where is TG limiter removal? Uh, uh, they're trying to get Rocket Salamander to go up. Not happening so much, but I think it's being used because its fire attribute is pyro. But I mean, it's that's a that's a tech genus card. You might be able to splash that into something else, but that's a tech genus card. Oh, it, it is a tuner. I'll give it. No, it's not a tuner. Yeah, that's a tech genus card. I don't know about all that. TG Rockets Elementor might fall back out to 10 bucks. Okay, okay, let's see. We'll see. What else we got? Because the rains are starting to come. Okay, then the last one we got up here is Crimson King. 77.77 for displays. Ah. Uh, so display still haven't hit that that fifty dollar mark <laughs> that they used to be at. I'm highly expecting that to happen. <coughs> Let's go go ahead and look at the do a deeper dive on the displays real quick. Okay, so yeah, we had a display. Whoa! So if you're watching this every day, somebody listed a display for forty nine ninety nine. 12 29 23 today it was listed and it was bought so somebody had they kept their eye on it one hadn't sold since earlier this month because nobody's trying to pay 80 dollars for a display at this point blank period so because of that i feel like that um telling this from the community and then competition rising up from capitalism should drive the prices down on this one people trying to make a buck trying to create capital to go in on newer sets obviously so i'm highly expecting this to drop again but i mean i guess i gotta watch it every day if i'm trying to catch a, a 49.99 listing somebody trying to fire sale get it out from under them real quick that's nice okay so back to our trip though down memory lane 2016 we looked at the millennium pack a couple of days ago that was did that drop in april of 2016 Let's see. Infinite Go, yo, OTS Tournament Pack 1, we looked at that. Uh, Eternal Turbo Duelist at his promotional card. I'm pretty sure we looked at that. Wasn't that Stardust like Chronicle Dragon? Uh, Weekly Shonen Jump, no, 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 says Japanese. Yep, Millennium Pack was in April, April 15th. And then, okay, here we go. The Weekly Shonen Jump membership promotional card was... Uh, oh, yeah, Relink Karibo, that's right, that's right. So we need to look up Relink Karibo. And then what's after we link Karibo? North America. Uh, North American. Okay, we got Shining Victories in May. Shining Victories in May. And then we got Starter Deck Yuya in May as well. Okay. Let's open up some extra tabs here. Relink, Karibo. What are we looking at? Shonen Jump Magazine promo. Yes. So, so thirteen listings as well as ninety nine cents. Market price twelve at two two dollars and eighty eight cents. So, first of all, it it has some printings, but the listings are not particularly high. The Shonen Jump Magazine promo. This shit got thirteen listings on it. Like this is this is a rare card. Well, trading card elites. Okay, okay, it has thirteen listings, but trading card elites has a mirror wall of one hundred and seventeen. So at two thirty six, I mean that's not hard to make disappear. Like you go in on that, you drop a hundred dollars on this card. 
you're taking out a huge chunk of those. And then this this card appreciates to five bucks. Then you doubled your hundred. But as a Shonen Jump magazine promo, I mean, just to have one, if you're looking for set completion, that's not bad. Two eighty eight, having all the Shonen Jump magazine promos. Shout out Ring Relink Relink Karibo and the Shining Victories. Man, this would have been a nice set to like completely collect considering like kaiba is my favorite character and this is like a kaiba set uh, you have blue eyes spirit dragon here unfortunately like i said i got back into the game 2017 guys i had just missed this when i came back into the game though i seen i'm like looking at all these new cards looking at watching all these youtube videos like seeing um people talk about Yu-Gi-Oh and like the best cards in the game I'm like crystal wing synchro dragon go look it up like 60 dollars gee whiz blown away and then from that juxtaposition, looking back at it now, it's like 84 listings, it's all 748, market price 1412. That's a steal. It's still got some money. It's still money. That's crazy how this is still a money card, considering it has a ghost rare now, and it has like three other lower rarity reprints. And it's still like a 10 to $15 card. That's in that's some nice stand power, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Same thing with Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. It doesn't have a, a extra rarity version, uh, interestingly enough, but it has like eight lower rarity printings in the secret rare. That's probably why the secret rare still is holding strong, though. If they gave it like a QCSR or something, it, I could see it taking a, a bit of a hit. Uh, 49 listings as low as $12, Mark Rush $14.29. But I mean, without that, yeah, it's not going to bend this, it's not going to bend the knee for an ultra. What else is happening up in here in Shining Victories? Scape Ghost was a oh no, that's special edition. I was about to say Lunar Light Panther Dancer. Yo, the Lunar Light, shout out to Lunar Lights. Like playing them in Master Duel and like those like those little fusion tournaments that they were having and whatnot was cool as shit. Like those things can OTK with the best of them. With the best of them, especially if you're playing against somebody who's never played against them, which is highly likely because it's like who's playing <laughs> Luna Lights <laughs> or who's seen the anime. Um, who used Luna Lights in the anime? Um, was it was it Zuzu Luna Light? I swear, I think it was Zuzu. if i'm not mistaken but we could po possibly look it up let's open up a new tab real quick let's type in zuzu zuzu boyo shut up okay wait there might not have been, i think it might have been her like her counterpart because she used did she use melodious selena oh it was selena she was the one who used it yeah she was the one who used the lunar lights mm. uh where is her deck her deck of choices personality etymology history arc league friendship cup No, <laughs> where does it show her deck at? <laughs> Yo, that duel between her and Sergey was, was, um, it was extra as shit. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't going to spoil nothing for you guys who haven't seen it, but that shit was extra. Yeah, she used Luna Lights. There you go. Boom. Boom. There you go. <laughs> Fresh, Fresh would say, boom. <laughs> Nah, though. Um, shout out to Luna Lights, though. They're they're cool as shit. For real, for real. Kind of OTK with the best of them. Not surprised considering it was used by like a, a sub protagonist in the anime. So it should have some type of stand power. <laughs> Let's filter it real quick. These sets, this is the first year they started where you got a super rare in every set. So the supers began to be not as valuable because of that. <laughs> but. Okay, Ebon Illusion Magician, that's a really nice super. It was from the special edition, but it's still pretty nice. 
Raider after Ultimate Falcon. Wasn't this like a, a cheese card? Like with like Wake the Dragon? Yeah, unaffected by other cards' effects. Okay, maximum gold El Dorado is what provided it some cool. And but like I said, because you get a super rare in every pack, and these 232 listings lost 20 cents for the super. Come on now. 232 listings. There's more supers on the market than there are rares for maximum gold El Dorado. But shout out to Ray Raptors. They got an ultimate boss monster like that. Gee whiz. Digital bug rhinos rhinosibus does not have a reprint. I, I, I think so. I'm like, yo, I have never seen this card. Digital bug rhinosibus, two or more level seven light insect type monsters. Okay, <laughs> digital bugs put monsters on the board like that. Tuners have. This does not have a reprint. This card one monster special summon from your deck one tuner monster with the same original type and attribute, but one level higher than the discarded monster had in hand. What? How is this not being cheesed right now? Discard one monster special summon from your deck one tuner monster with the same original type and attribute, but one level higher. So when I think about water and trenches, discard and her for this and then you get a tuner monster same original type so water attribute no 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 same original type so spellcaster tuner monster and water attribute level four does one of those exist that's an interesting that's an interesting card 283 listings doesn't have a reprint though It's so interesting going back into these older sets and seeing super rares and ultra rares that just don't have reprints. That was the wrong page. A Morphage Infection. Okay. Cosmo Scaredy Line. I swear, does this have a reprint? No, it doesn't. Cosmo Scaredy Line does not have a reprint. Super rare coming out of Shining Victories. If you want your um, shout out to uh, the Wizard of Oz, the Scaredy Cat Lion, crossover with freaking Star Wars. Okay, okay. But guys, this. We can't be out here all day. Hopefully, I provided some value with this live stream market. No, 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 Grandpa. No, Grandpa. Like Kakarot. <laughs> Send me your energy so we could get that space gate charged up for a part two. But with that, we're going to be getting up out of here. Nimbus. Are we in there? Are we in there? Yeah, we in there.